If you're working on your credit, I'm gonna teach you a hack that a lot of people skip over and they do not understand it. Nobody's talking about this. The biggest thing that people skip over is they do not attack the names and addresses that do not match your utility bill and your driver's license. Step number one, you need to update your driver's license to match your current address, okay? This is very important because your name and address has a eight to 16 digit code that's attached to it, okay? So if you're not updating your address on your driver's license, this is really hindering the process. So you need to take this step and this needs to be one of the biggest steps that you do is update your driver's license. Did I say that enough? Okay, so you can understand it because you, you have to understand that when they verify this information, the credit bureaus aren't doing a real investigation. They're literally cross-referencing these eight to 16 digit codes that are attached to every single address and every single name that's on your credit report. That with Experian, Equifax and TransUnion, each one of them have their own individual code. And what they do is eOscar sends that information over to the creditor or debt collector and they verify that the information matches up. That's why it comes back verified as much as as many times as possible. So that's why it's important that you do this step and you attack those names and addresses, but the first things first is update your driver's license to match that. Because you you can't dispute a address that's on your driver's license. I mean, you technically can. With Metro 2, we can do that because it's much more powerful. But when you're doing standard disputing, this can potentially hinder the process. So make sure you take that step to update your driver's license first. Now that you updated your driver's license and your utility bill, they both match because they both got a match. Okay, this is very important. Um, now you can start attacking with LexisNexis. Okay, so LexisNexis, this is my LexisNexis report. Of course, I can't show you the whole thing because it's massive. But LexisNexis, CoreLogic, and know this, okay? All of these databases are holding your information, okay? So you wanna get your report and you wanna see all the addresses that are on there and you want to attack those names and addresses to get them out of their database. Because every one of these databases, you wanna clear them out to make sure none of this information is in there anymore, okay? This is gonna help you in the process. Freezing these, these third-party reporting companies is not going to help you because there's already an unbroken chain that cannot be broken with any existing accounts that are on your credit reports or any derogatory accounts. So don't waste your time sending in freezes with these bureaus because I proved it does nothing, okay? Instead, attack the names and addresses that do not match your driver's license just like you would attack them with the credit bureaus. So when you send out those letters to the bureaus, send them out to the third party companies at the same exact time. One of the most important things that you need to do when you're disputing, when you, whether you're sending these letters to the bureaus or you're sending them to the actual third party companies, send it certified mail, okay? Always send your letters certified mail because you need proof because later on in the process, you can file a complaint with the CFPB and you can show them that they're failing to investigate. They're not really doing what, what they're supposed to be doing, okay? So make sure you get all of your reports from all of those other bureaus that we talked about, okay? LexisNexis, Innovis, CoreLogic, okay? Those are gonna be your main big ones that you wanna go after to get that data out of that system and out of the credit bureaus at the same time. Don't waste your time freezing. I'm gonna repeat it again because it is a waste of time and energy and resources because every round is very, very, important okay you got 30 days really 35 days because you got to create the letters mail them and all that nonsense always remember last part's the most important in case you didn't know we were the creators that created this crazy diy program that creates custom metro 2 letters that attack every negative item on your credit report we do not attack hard inquiries unless you sent it into us as you can see we were published okay and this is a really game-changing piece of software that we use for all of these DIY clients. And basically we create these letters custom made to your issue. We email them to you, you print them, send them out certified mail and you're done. You don't have to be a pro. You don't have to do all these courses and modules and all this nonsense. We cut that all out of the game because this is going to help you get better results in that in the program, okay? Instead of sending cookie cutter template letters that get you nowhere, you're going to get you're going to hit a roadblock. That's what's gonna happen. And then you're gonna be like, what do I do next? You're not a pro, 
okay? So you can dispute an attack like a professional without paying for one, 50 bucks a month. Link is gonna be in the description as always. So this is the most vital part is sending certified mail because if the credit bureaus or the third party companies refuse to delete them, what's the next move you say, okay? It's really important that everything is sent certified and you have records showing this. Now remember, this is for educational purposes only. This is not legal advice, okay? You need to understand that if you're going to attack these names and addresses and they refuse to remove them, then you can file a complaint with the CFPB, okay? Because this is what you call a failure to investigate. If you're proving that these items clearly are not accurate because they don't match your driver's license and utility bill, then it has to come off your credit report because only accurate and complete information can be on your credit report, okay? So if they refuse to remove it, you can file a complaint with the CFPB against every single one of these companies and you need to do that because you're creating a track record showing that they did not investigate and now you have a failure to investigate. So if you have to file this complaint with the CFPB, you want to wait at least two rounds at maximum if they refuse to delete these items after you've attacked them at least two times. Now you can file a complaint whenever you want to, but really standard protocol is gonna be at least, you know, two rounds. So let's say, you know, 35 days each round, okay? You do two rounds, they deleted some of them, but not all of them, then you sent in another letter stating these need to be deleted immediately because they are not accurate and they are not complete and I want them deleted from my credit report, okay? And then, so you sent that certified mail the second time and it didn't respond. Now you're gonna file a complaint with the CFPB. You wanna do it at least, you know, like I said, two rounds, each one is 35 days, okay? And when you file that complaint, you want to state very clearly, they are failing to investigate. This is a failure to investigate and a violation of the FCRAs. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we drop new content, every time we drop new videos, okay? And when we go live, because you never know when I'm gonna pop up live. I love to go live on, on our YouTube channel so I can show support, answer some questions, help people out there, because this is what I do. I have a passion for credit. I got so much knowledge, it's not even funny. We do real credit repair here, okay? We help people work on their credit. We manage your credit files. This is not your normal run-of-the-mill credit repair company. That's not how we roll. We specialize in Metro 2. We do have pre-litigation programs also. Depends on where your, where your process is at, where you're at, have you been working on your credit? You know, are you gonna go full service? We offer do, do it yourself also. So just remember, we offer all these things to help as many people as we possibly can, but I'm gonna keep dropping gems. You gotta keep commenting and make sure you share this to all your friends because the more people you can share it to, the more people we can help. All right, so we're gonna cover everything that we talked about. You're going to update your driver's license and utility bill, make sure that they match, okay? That's step number one. You're going to pull your credit reports from LexisNexis, CoreLogic, Innovis, SageStream. I forgot that earlier, okay? SageStream. Pull all your reports from them, okay? And your personal credit report and see all these names and addresses and attack the names and addresses that do not match your driver's license and your utility bill. Send those letters certified mail. If you do two rounds and they do not respond, okay? And they do not delete them, okay? And you're proving that, then you file a complaint with the CFPB on their website that they fail to investigate, and this is a direct violation of the FCRAs, which is a failure to investigate. And as always, never forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.